Hello, everybody, and welcome to a brand new series on Cult of the Lamb, an action roguelike dungeon crawler where you collect and cultivate cute, cuddly creatures, convert them, corrupt them, and create a cult. And we're going to be going here to check out the game a bit early. A little bit early. Praise the Lamb, conduit to great power, promised liberator of the one who waits below. Yet sacrificial beasts take heed, for a crown cannot sit upon two brows. Well, all right. So we're probably going to be going through a similar part that we did in the demo when we checked this out a little bit ago. I absolutely adored it then, and I cannot wait to check out a more full version of the game now. In we go. Developed by Massive Monster, published by Devolver Digital, of course, of course. Hello there. Kneel to be sacrificed. Yep. Before us stands the last of its kind, all others we have hunted down and put to the blade. With this final sacrifice, the prophecy will be impossible to fulfill. The heretic who lies bound below will be condemned to eternal captivity. And the old faith shall be preserved. Well. Hello. The one who waits. Come closer, fear not, for though you are already dead, I still have need for you. Those foolish bishops thought they could keep you from me in death, but instead they sent you straight to me. I will give you life again, but at a price. All I ask for you is to start a cult in my name. Do we have a deal? Absolutely. Oh boy. Where did we get the sword, by the way? Okay, left click, we can get a little bit of a attack in here. Dodge roll as well. Gotta love it, gotta love it. One moment. Oops. <laughs> there we are. Oi! Oh God, the sound effects! The sound effects, the flash, it feels so good. Space to dodge. What are you implying I was gonna be hit right there? No, sir. You get anything from these? But yes, this game, there's a large part of that is kind of just an action roguelike dungeon crawler, but then you're also going to be creating a cult back at home, a little bit more of a sort of a base that you're going to be building up. Fear not, I am Ratao. I was once a chosen vessel like you, but those days are lost to the winds. I was sent to guide you. We are deep in the lands of the old faith and in grave danger. My instructions are to lead you to safety. Continue through the woods. Escape lies ahead. I will be close by. Goodbye, Ratatouille. Don't think I don't think I've forgotten. We, it is still can like canonically true that that is Ratatouille to me. I will not change that. Tab to open inventory. We got a coin. Currency used for all manners of things. I mean, fair enough. Oh, look at that. Different stats, everything. But yes, so we're also going to be, you know, we kind of got two separate things. One phase is going to be very much kind of a more traditional action dungeon crawler to an extent where we're going to get upgrades, perks, equipment. And then we're going to, uh, you know, just get as much as we can, try and push as far as we can into the dungeon. Ooh, what is this? This is not familiar. This is not familiar. I don't remember these fools. We're currently not getting any resources from anything here, but I do believe normally you can. Uh, maybe after we're done with the sort of like tutorial element of things here. We don't even have a health bar. There's no potential to really even lose right now. That is going to change. That is absolutely going to change. 
God, this just the visual style and polish is incredible. Take me there. Hello. It's a bad up. We have re <laughs> nearly reached safety, but look ahead. Another poor soul about to be sacrificed. Rescue them, and they would have no choice but to join your new cult. Oh, mighty bishops of the old faith, we ask you to accept this sacrifice of this wretched soul. Hey, who interrupts our ritual and trespasses on sacred ground? Me. Probably should put up a little bit more of a fight. Okay, there we go. Dibs. Dibs on the lost soul. All right. So yeah, we've uh, follow her rates awaits <laughs> indoctrination. Yes. Yes, yes. So they're going to be back at the base there and we're going to be able to use them to kind of uh set up camp a little bit more. We might be able to tell them to do a couple things around camp, get resources, etc., cetera, etc. Cetera. Uh, we have reached safety. You've done well. The Red Crown will allow you to use those markings on the ground to transport yourself great distances. It will take you to a temple that has fallen to ruin. There you will be able to begin your new cult. I will meet you there. And remember, anyone can cook. Heretics defeated. Nice. Please select a difficulty. I, I guess I'll do... Can I change it at any point? I can. Extra hard? I guess I'll start on hard then. Okay. I'll start on hard. This hollowed ground, which was once mine, is now yours. This crumbling ruin is to be the site of your new cult. We have much to do. We begin by indoctrinating this poor soul into the warm embrace of your cult. Followers can gather resources for you. Order this one. Order this one to collect lumber and stone. Hello. Let me indoctrinate you, please. Mama, 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 mama. Convert me to your cult. I will follow your teachings faithfully. All right. Name Mana. Okay. Choose form. Oh, I feel like it's not <laughs> DLC. I was given a couple of DLC things. Look at that turtle. Oh my God. A little Cthulhu. I feel like uh, I don't want to change them off of being a rabbit. That doesn't seem right. Variant. Kind of liking that one right now. Okay. Sure. Traits. 15% harder to level up because he's cynical. Okay. Lose minus five faith whenever another follower dies. Terrified of death. Ignores dissenters when they preach. Wonderful, Dwayne. Enter the cult. Beautiful. Ma 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 ma. Chop some trees. By your hand, our cult will grow powerful. But your followers cannot live on prayer alone. They must eat. Gather the necessary resources and build a cooking fire. It'll allow you to prepare meals for your followers. Okay. So we can also. Yeah, we can mine ourselves. Did we, we send him for lumber? Yeah, okay. We'll get the stones then. I said we'll get the stones then. There we are. Okay. Thank you. Two out of five. Come on, Dwayne. Oh, okay. Well, there you go. Was not anticipating so much. Okay, cooking fire. Cook raw items and turn them into meals that followers can eat. Can only be built once. Okay. Let's see. I feel like it's maybe an important one. Let's place it pretty close to this sort of center here. Build it, Dwayne. Oh, I can help. Oh, that's nice. Followers need to eat, and it's up to you to provide meals for them. 
The hunger of your cult can be seen in the top left of the screen. When this gets too low, followers will begin to starve. Find more food while crusading. Pick routes that will pass through foraging locations. Okay. Plant farms to grow your own food. Seeds can be purchased or found while crusading. Wonderful. Collect a berry, cook a meal. Six berries. We got three. All right. Is it six for a meal? We also got two berry bush seeds per harvest there. That seems really convenient. 15% chance of the follower pooping instantly. All right. Uh, is that inherently wrong? I'm assuming we need to just put it in the green. Now we must build a shrine, but first we will need more followers and more gold. Both of which can be found when crusading through the lands of the Old Faith. Our mutual benefactor, the one who waits, has been trapped by the four bishops of Old Faith. Each of them must guard. Each of them guards a chain that binds him to the realm beyond. We have con conjured openings to their realms. It is your task to trap them down and slay them so that he may be freed. Now go. There you shall find gold and willing recruits. And for those who are not willing, convert them by force. He pooped immediately. He darn did it. Fifteen percent chance. Rare proc. Unsanitary conditions at your cult will cause your followers to become sick. If a follower becomes sick, assign them to bed rest or they could die. Resting will allow them to slowly recover. Poop, vomit, and dead bodies cause illness. It's <laughs> to spread quickly throughout your cult. Of course. Uh, just sorry. Something about this image. Uh, it just really, um, it's, it sells it. It sells it. I, I, the vibe is sold by that picture alone cleaning messes and burying bodies will prevent the spread of illness fantastic okay have i become sick did that imply that i got sick all right well let's go uh let's go out and get a little bit of exploration done what's this about followers just deposit the resources there when you're away okay all right bye bye Dwayne. All right, in we go here to the Darkwood. I believe we have access to uh, the first two dungeons until the, the game's release. So I'm, I'm very excited to be popping in here and seeing what we got. Boop. To the Darkwood. Okay, we can start out... Do we have a... So we don't have our sword yet? Is there resources in this? There's... I think they might have possibly removed the ability to get resources from that. Which, honestly, I think I prefer. Oh my god. Very slow attacking here. Oh my god. Very, very slow attacking on this axe. Not my normal jam. We'll see, though. Maybe I'll come to appreciate it. Is there, like, a charge attack or something like that? Or a dash? Not at the moment. Oh, boy. Chop. We've got to be very patient if we're going to be using the axe here. Get out of there. Okay. Yeah, I'm definitely noticing we're not getting uh, resources from just breaking this stuff, which is different. And honestly, wait, we are? Wait, we are. We're getting grass? Did I get grass? I could have sworn I got grass. Did I get it from this, from the chest? That'd be interesting. Praise the Lamb, conduit to great power, promise liberator of the one who waits below. So the card showed me once, many lifetimes ago, or has that yet to be? I have always drawn your cards, Lamb, and yet this is the first. Take these cards and I will draw another each time we meet. Then drawn when drawn by me, they will grant you power. What power? Well, that is both known and unfathomable. The cards, they shall decide. All right. 10% uh, chance of gaining health when killing an enemy or one extra health? Basically, the question uh, that this provides is, would I rather have more HP stocked up for, like, a boss fight 
or would I rather be almost way more likely to be at two hearts when we get there? And for that, I'll say let's just get the let's just get this full one. Oh, it's an armor. It's a 10% chance to get an armor heart. That one was better. <laughs> Never mind. That one was just better. It's a different type of hearts. It's a blue a blue heart. It is actually it is actually its own unique thing. I didn't know. Didn't know. It's been a been a hot moment since I oh, since I played that demo. Some, uh, hello? How can this be? You were put to the blade, lamb, and all your as, as all your kind were, and yet here you stand before me, unrepentant. The crown, his power, could it be? But I am stronger still. Turn tail and run, little lamb. Nah. Get out of <laughs> what? If, what if that? Uh, if you attacked fast enough, you got a free pot shot for when you inevitably fight him as a oh, as a boss. I I want to get a faster attack weapon. I'm. Having to be like so slow and methodical with it. Not usually my uh, my forte. I like slightly more mobile, usually. Oh, we actually get health back there. Okay, it's not a big deal. New card. Okay, receive double the health while healing. I mean, seems great. Did I? Do I have it? We do, okay. Okay, so should we, should we get wood or wood? Hmm. I'll go with wood, I suppose. Oh, that's... Oh, look at that. It's just sitting there. Wait. Can we... Does that give us the same amount? Of lumber? I feel like it might. Oh, that one, was, that one almost got away from me there. Yeah, I, I think that they, I think they changed it so you're not in set. Oh no! All right, one second. All right, I'm not gonna do that every time. It just it takes so, it takes so long. But I'm sitting here. I'm like, I really feel like I should make sure that I get those resources. God, if I just did five percent more damage, I would be one shotting these fools. Okay. I'm assuming if we walk over those, something bad happens. Do, do. Do we need like a lot more grass, really? Do we? Do we? Do we? Uh, it looks like this might be the card shop. Yeah, you can tell from the little stars there. And also, one thing I like, we don't have to actually care. I'm gonna, I'm gonna do the full map anyways. I'm I'm going to clear the whole thing. I am I'm that kind of uh, dungeon crawler player. Is it, oh shoot, is this the? Okay, well maybe I should have. Well, it's okay. We'll we'll just beat the boss then. We don't need all the things. I there was like a, there was a little symbol I could have probably assumed was the boss symbol. Uh, to be fair. You have come far enough, little lamb. My followers are willing to do anything for me. Can you say the same of yours? I give myself to the cause, oh mighty leader. By the blood of the great ones, destroy the red crown. Hello. Okay. How are you gonna? So how do you? So he charges up. Slow. Go. Is that that can't be it? That can't be it though. I'm on hard mode. Well, I have a sneaking suspicion it's going to get more difficult than that. <laughs> Please spare me. Convert me to your cult. I'll follow your teachings faithfully. All right. Ah, uh, that's why I was having a weird little. Uh... What? I'm getting caught on something. Big gift, gold nugget. The big gift. I'm gonna unplug my controller. Maybe that'll help.
Oh, we're good. All right, let's go back uh, and get a little bit of extra stuff. I, it did not matter in the slightest that we fought the boss right then. We we perfected him, which honestly was not particularly challenging to do. What the axe does make up for, or, uh, you know, lack in uh, attack speed, it does obviously make up for in damage. It, it may be worth using. Like, it may be worth adapting to this sort of a play style. I did see that there are other types of weapons, you know, obvi like, obviously. It's not going to just be the one. Is there anything we should check out in our inventory? Nah, just appreciate that we have lots and lots of stuff. Let's go fix up our home. I can only assume. Okay, so one out of four. One out of four. Out of the first dungeon, I, I can only presume. I'm ready to indoctrinate. Ah, hello. Very good, my vessel. Seems I've chosen well when I kept you from death. I'll be watching your every move. Do not disappoint me. Who are these? Who are these? Who dat? All right. I'm relieved to see you made it safely, and you've not returned alone. You have convinced more to join your faithful flock. Let us introduce the new convert so that we may continue. Welcome! Remember me to your cult. I'll follow your teachings faithfully. Oh, interesting. Is it... Oh, it's like a different unlockable one. I mean, again, it feels weird to change what he looks like, but... We'll, we'll change. If we get a dupe, I'll tell you what. The first time we get a dupe, we'll go for, for one of these. And you know what? I like this one, but got to be different. Got to be different for the sake of it. Yeah, we'll do that. Anducius? Uh, no. Linguini. Naturally obedient. On recruiting this follower, immediately gain 10 faith. Also slightly harder to level up. Ah. Ma, 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 linguini chop trees. Oh, that other, the other one's still chopping trees. Followers will either work or worship. Worshiping followers generate devotion for you to collect. This is completely all new for me now. The other stuff was in the demo. This is brand new now. But to collect devotion, you must, you require a shrine. Okay. A place for your followers to pray. The shrine will hold the devotion they create. Okay, can't be moved around. It's it, it literally has to go there. I'll, here, I'll help. Me too. Thank you, Linguini. Man, the humiliation of having your name reduced from, like, <laughs> God Slayer, God Slayer from the darkness, as Modius, to Linguini. Praise be. I know that wasn't his name, but your followers can now worship you. Good. Your followers can now worship you. The viewers can now subscribe. Here's a new follower. Assign them to the worship at the shrine. They collect the devotion. Your followers generate. Is that what they're calling likes on the videos now? Devotion? Uh, to unlock divine inspiration. What? Shalom, Bakka. Jujul, convert me to your cults. I will follow your teachings faithfully. You, you know, we do need the good old-fashioned classic. Okay, we're not going to change that up. The base one's... I mean, the base one's cute. Between that one and this one. Got the fact that the nose is on the side of the head is so good. Uh, cynical. Why are they all cynical? I'm happy with that one. Uh, harder to level up. Heals faster when sick. Welcome aboard. Worship at the shrine to gain devotion. Collect devotion from your shrine. Once you collect enough, you'll unlock divine inspiration. 
The more followers worshiping at your shrine, the faster they will fill up. If the shrine is full, they will stop worshiping until it is emptied. Once you've collected divine inspiration, you unlock new buildings for your cult through the shrine. Okay. I've collected one. Divine inspiration unlock. Okay, well. Farm. Okay, I mean, we're just supposed to get the temple. How? Holy moly. There's a lot. Okay, temple to preach sermons and perform rituals. That is a satisfying sound effect. The polish, man. The polish. Okay, a farm plot sounds fantastic. Hey, yo. Linguini. Eat, sleep. Worship. Ma 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 ma. I want to get the uh, the ability to plant berries sooner than later. All right. Uh, we're missing five stone. Okay. Well. Ma 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 ma. Get some rubble. So we'll get to the point where you know, like at some point, there's not enough stone. Why'd you go all the way up there? There's just not enough stone. That's not. <laughs> That is not time effective. I mean, maybe it is, but like, man. I'd imagine there's a point where we don't have any more resources here. Maybe they come back in between uh, missions. Maybe. Maybe not. Okay. Four stone. We also probably should have checked the, uh, the bin. Eh, I'll just get this one up here. But that being said, the bin probably just has some uh, wood. I would assume. Right there, right by it. Okay, so 13... Okay, so it goes up to a cap of 50 possible here. Gotcha. It's not like... Okay. So if we get 13, we get a new Divine Inspiration. Beautiful. The temple is the center of your cult. From there, you will preach sermons to grow stronger and perform rituals to mold the fragile minds of your followers. You're responsible for maintaining the faith of your cult. If it falls too low, your followers will dissent against you and eventually leave. Followers are ready to hear your word. Show them that you are their great leader. Preach a sermon from within your temple. Uh, one moment. Huh? Sermon. Perform a sermon drawing energy from your followers to bolster the power of the Red Crown. I <laughs> sure. Absolutely. Hello, everyone. Welcome. Strength through the flock. Through the faith of your followers, you grow stronger. Performing sermons will draw power from them and allow you to unlock new abilities, weapons, and curses. Followers with a higher loyalty level will generate more devotion. Therefore, more followers you have... Uh, and the more loyal they are, the quicker you'll gain new abilities. Permanently gain half a heart. I, I see, I see, I see, I see, I see. Whoop. I wonder how much stuff is there. First, you've already preached a sermon today. Fine. Can we check our, like... Followers, you gave a sermon. Okay. I wanted to check the rest of that. You're amazing to behold, a natural leader. I see why you were chosen. If you are to guide your cults, you will need to declare doctrines so that they might obey you. Return to the lands of the old faith and seek out commandment stone fragments. With these, you'll be able to declare new doctrines. Okay. Fair enough. Oldo, why don't you, uh, you get me some wood. Good. Okay, so how's... Hunger seems high, right? Like, that means it's full? One would assume. That being said, I think I should also possibly just wait a second... Get one more upgrade here, like, as soon as that's done. 
All right. Boink. So we get another divine inspiration. We might as well start unlocking the farm plot. I think that, like, beds sound nice, but I in pretty much any game where you can, it's usually a good idea to, like, you know, start going on getting farming started. Grow seed into a crop. we might have a little bit more. <laughs> Why are you using a hammer to plant crops? I don't understand. Plant uh, berry bush. Right. Needs water. I mean, I bet you I can have somebody else water them, but... Add fertile... Great. Great, wonderful. Uh, we could probably have them water, but I don't think we really need to. Hey, back to work! Oh, he didn't like that. Oh, he didn't like that. Sorry, Dwayne. Don't leave me. Don't leave me. How's hunger? Yeah, hunger, it looks like it's fine. I could be wrong, but it looks as though it's full. Trader Razor. Fast blade, low damage, lightning quick. Whoa! I do like it quite a bit. Yeah. I, you know, I'm not going to do it every time. It's just, it's two and it takes a long time. I just run. I don't want to waste my time. Entering the lands of the Bishop Leshy, those who do not follow the ways of the old faith will be destroyed. Okay. Hi, did you do this? I'm glad I found you. I bring good news. The old one who, or the one who waits is pleased with your progress, wishes to grant you a crown ability. Oh. How do we, what the hell? How do we get it back? Enemies you slay will drop fervor. Collect this to replenish your curses. Fervor is the righteous anger earned by striking down non-believers, of course, and works like ammunition for your curses. Yes, as it does. Uh, fervor will drop when you slay an enemy. Collecting it re refuels your curses. Okay. Okay. So we have the exit over there. Do we, know, we don't know anything about any of these zones. Oh. 10% chance of gaining... Great. Wait. Wait, what? Overall weapon damage increased by 1.25. What's the downside here? Is there a risk? Is there... Was there some kind of penalty for taking all those? Or is that really... Curses take less... Uh, take less now. Oh my god, hello. That just seem, seems busted. Okay, scoot through. Hello, and another card. Tell me, lamb, do you believe destiny immutable? Sure, give me a card. Attack rate increased by 1.25. This... <laughs> uh, yeah, yeah, let's do that. Oh my god. Do more damage and attack faster. I don't know what you do yet. Hello. So foolishly you persist, little lamb. I hear your lies and I smell your fear. The red crown rises again. But what an unworthy bearer it has. Okay. Oh my. Whoa! The knockback on the, uh, on the curses. Wild. Boop, 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 boop. You got in the grass there. What are you doing? Okay. Seems like we maybe do like a little bit of a, a kind of a knockback of some kind. Or not knockback, like a, a sort of hit stun. Oh my, what? Man's got an arrow? 
spawn. So I think we want to probably save those more because it seems like getting them back is really not an easy feat. Uh, okay, hold on. Do I, I mean, do I really need to track this? <laughs> like, I mean, yeah, like, I guess I don't need to track it. I was like, I gotta make sure I open that up so I, I, I <laughs> track that quest. Kill the boss. <laughs> I mean, okay. <laughs> um, I don't know. We don't, we probably don't want to expand out. Oh, it's a poor Cupid. The worm. It is hungry. It feeds. It partakes of our flesh. But that is the price for safety. For that, we will gladly give it all we have. Okay. That man's rolling. There's a hedgehog here, and these blue guys are rolling around. What the hell, dude? Get in there. 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 Bonk. Oh, I shot it at my potential new follower. It didn't, it didn't really do anything, but. Oh, you poor thing. Next. Oh. Is this a, is it a weapon room or is it just like a, does that just mean fight? Steel devotion. You can do that? You can just steal someone else's devotion? What the hell? Hello. What? Uh, I just picked something up. I hope it was fine. I didn't have the ability to choose to do that. E <laughs> Eons are gone. These lands were rife with the gods and their adherents. What befell this pantheon? Alas, tis the nature of beasts to forget and the gods to be forgotten. Mayhap they left, mayhap they slept, mayhap they devoured and were devoured in turn. Those who remained spread roots, spun webs, molded this world to meet them and theirs. Twere a land of many gods once hundreds now. Okay. Okay, so we are, I was like, I hope it wasn't a selection and we were just... Gotcha. You found enough to get a commandment stone. They are used to declare new doctrines. I don't know what that means. Declare a new doctrine whenever you form a commandment stone. I mean, we'll, we'll have to see what it means. Maybe it's just like a general a general task vibe that we are going to push for. Hey. Push. Push. Where the hell? Yeah, filling up our uh, our meter takes a lot, a lot, a lot, a lot. Let's out of the way. Yo, 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 yo! Nope. Yeah, it seems like uh, the drop rates are slightly more sparse than they were in the demo, which I appreciate. It means it doesn't feel like I should be sitting here all the time, just breaking every single little stinking... Oh my god, stinking chunk of anything I find. I appreciate that. Like, could I for min maxi purposes? Yeah, sure. But it seems like there's some kind of a timer in the upper right as well, maybe making it so that's not a good effective use of time. When I could, you know, just go back and maybe all my followers will have, uh, you know, 15 pieces of wood for me. Step forward, beast, from the swirling mists of the chaos that surround. Allow me to regard you wholly. Hmm. You carry the weight of the age of centuries upon such diminutive shoulders. Yet, what is this? It seems your stature is deceiving. A weapon is not without a, the hand that wields to fell enemies, to defend honor, to break chains. Let your crown take the form of one of these works of iron. Forge an everlasting fire. May you wield them well, promised the liberator. Crusader blade up. Oh, they're, they're all upgraded ones. Oh, and this is an upgrade to my to my spell. Gotcha. Sure. I'm happy to just give that an extra shot. Maybe maybe the 
better one will wow me. I don't know what these guys do yet. Okay, so they're just projectile lads. Get out. Don't want to... I feel like I want to save up my projectiles for like a boss fight or something. Now that, now that it's better, I feel like using it on these chumps that I can just breeze through without a true thought is going to be a waste. When hit down to half hearts, all enemies will be dealt two damage. Great. Death's Door. It's a good game. Still version. Wonderful, wonderful, wonderful. I mean... We've got enough grass. We've got enough grass. Ooh, 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 ooh. Got stuck on a rock there. Could have been bad, could have been bad, could have been bad. Schmoop, schmoop, schmoop. I don't think I'm getting rocks or anything from the rocks. Like, the big thing that it seems like I get is the grass. From just kind of, like, doinking around. Oh, took a hit there. More! Gain extra hearts. You know, let's get better chests. I think I'll be fine. Tricky, 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 tricky. The one grass. We have 38 now. Valefar! Uh-oh. Yeah. Thought that might be the case. Yeah, I don't know. It's a little, it's a little wild. Yeah, it seems like maybe if we time that right, we get a little bit extra. Maybe some little extra damage or something. We're taking a lot more hits here. Back it up. You do one, two, and then you do a little bit. Okay, yeah, we got we got to get used to that timing on that. We're just gonna do the same thing again. One, two. Okay, back it up. One. I mean, he's doing it fast. Oh, three, four! You tricky sausage. One, two, three, four. Still not enough. One, two, three. That is easy. Hello. What, is something wrong? Bunch of seeds. I feel like I don't have any gold nuggets yet, so I'm gonna go for that. Get another com like little tablet piece. Good deal. I mean, I guess I'll pick that up. Squirt. <laughs> he literally said squirrel, 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 squirrel. A freaking Pokemon. Oh my goodness. Do not make the mistake of becoming the servant of your followers. They are for you to use to your advantage. Their faith is a resource. Spend it as you would gold, for you can always regain their trust with a well-placed gesture of kindness. Let it empower you. Let it give you a license to do unspeakable things. Bend them to your will. I grant you the power to read their feeble little minds. Oh, let's go. Interact with your followers to read their thoughts. See how hungry, tired, or sick they are. Oh, that's a new doctrine. That's pretty good. You've declared a doctrine which uh, is going to do a follower action. When you interact with followers, you can now read their mind. Great. Uh, wonderful. I've always wanted to know what Linguini was thinking. Please spare 
me! <sighs> Wonderful. Ignores dissenters when they preach. Lose 10 faith when falling ill. On recruiting the follower, immediately get 10 faith. Welcome aboard, chili dog. Uh, you know, I don't know what I need. We just do that for now. Valefar, convert me to your cult. I'll follow your teachings faithfully. Will you? Will you? Yes. That's fine. Uh, minus five faith when a follower is sacrificed. Ignores the senders when they preach. Okay. Welcome, Eiffel 65. Ah. Ah. Uh, worship me. Ooh. What a dangerous gameplay loop this has. Oh, mama. What is a farming bundle? Farmer station. Farmer station allows followers to water nearby crops. Put seeds here. Okay, so normally they can't. Put seeds here for your followers to sow. Place uh, for followers to sleep. Very unstable. Will often collapse. Okay, I mean, I feel like we might want to, you know... Not to be pessimistic, but we might need to... I feel like I'll want a body pit at some point soon here. Good deal. Water my crops. How's hunger? Hunger is looking a little low. Can we not, like, um... Yeah. Oh, shoot. Did I catch you? Did I catch you at a bad time? Please. There. Can you get them to... You can't get them to harvest berries? Why? Add fertilizer? Nope. 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 Build what we can... Okay, we can build the, uh... That decorations DLC... I don't- I have a sneaking suspicion these are all just cosmetics. Same with this. What? Oh my god. Oh my god. Trying to move to that one tile. Why doesn't it want me to move to that tile? There we go. It is weirdly difficult to do. <laughs> I'm Why? I don't know. I don't know. Who cares? Okay. Uh, there's some hunger. One more berry for a berry bowl. that cook so then they come and they'll just come and get it does that fill up hunger how much okay uh, okay 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 so let me get uh like let, let me get another berry again I'm surprised that they can't pick berries I mean they maybe they can we just have to unlock it or something like that. Oh, also, this gives a lot of berries. We can't have them be too satiated. What is this? We can't have them be, be too satiated, though. Uh, that being said, I'm not... I'm gonna do a little cooking. I'll do a little cooking. You guys can eat. You can eat. Why is the faith low? Speak to Eiffel 65. What's your thoughts? I need somewhere to sleep. I had a great conversation with a fellow cult member. You converted me by force. I had no choice. Well. Well. What are you thinking, Linguini? I feel great after a hearty meal. Nowhere to sleep. Good chat. Cult has a new member. Cult grows in greatness. New building. Thank you very much for converting me. Okay. 
Wonderful. I mean, I guess building a bed is a good call. Let's have it be like... Boop. How many... How many call members do I have? Oh, uh, you know what? Fine. Sweet dreams, ding-dongs. You gonna get up and at least move over to the bed? Might as well have an extra bed. Like, I think I might have made an extra bed, but I think it's worth it. This is making him a bit happier. Worth. Worth. Very worth. You're welcome. You're welcome. And then now I can sleep in one, too. Sign unoccupied. Uh, don't get too comfy. Upgrade the abilities of the crown. Uh, what is this? Declare a new doctrine. Use a commandment stone to declare a new doctrine for your cult. Great. Hello, everyone. Good morning. Bonfire ritual. Dance around the flame to increase the cult's faith. Plus 30. To the faith. Seems good. It costs 25 bones of some sort. Ah. Uh, rituals? Oh, that's th gonna be... That's gonna be that. Gotcha. Sermon. Sure. Sure, man. Three new curses will appear on your crusades. Bane weapons have a chance of poisoning enemies when attacking. They will appear in your crusades. Three new curses? You know, I don't know exactly what you mean, but, like, I'll take it. Like, is it three more options? for things that could show up. Beautiful. Yes. Can we just do one sermon a day or something? Oh, shoot. I just, again, I just wanted to see what that looked like. Preaching sermons, performing rituals, providing for the needs of your followers will keep your faith high. The bones of your enemies are required to perform such rituals. Destroy their skeletons to gather their bones. So we just haven't been able to do that yet, I assume? Because I've definitely broken some skeletons. Return to lands of old faith, gather bones from fallen enemies, recruit more followers, perform the ritual here in the temple. Okay. Help you solve problems with your cult, perform using bones. After slaying a non-believer, desecrate their bodies to gather their bones and use them to perform dark rituals in your temple. Ah, yes. Cult of the Lamb. Well, alas, alas, though, that is that. That is going to do it here for today. What do you want, Dwayne? Great leader, the cult is growing by the day. It is time you gave it a name. Oh. Well, I mean, it's just got to be the... It's, I mean, it's got to be the Retro Nation. That's the true cult. That's a nice ring to it. Welcome. All right, but if you would like to be indoctrinated into the cult as well, uh, consider subscribing to the video. Liking, <laughs> liking and commenting is a great way to help keep this series going around for a while. I'm very excited about the game, very interested in the game. I hope you guys are as well. Let me know what your favorite part of the game so far was down in the comments. It helps out with the algorithm. It, it really does just genuinely, but I'm also genuinely curious because there's a lot of different things going on in this game. So, you know, there's a lot of different things to potentially enjoy. Uh, Oh my god, look at them go. Get, I, I'm not going to tell them to get back to work. But yeah, thank you for watching. My name is Retromation. Cover any games every single day with an extra specialty, specialty in roguelikes and roguelites. <laughs> if that is something you are into, this is a channel that you should be subscribed to. I cover the best and newest every single day. Oh, uh, let me clean up some poop. I also clean up poop, I guess. That's, that's also my, my job, my jam. Uh, so if that is something that interests you, <laughs> subscribe to the channel. Be notified when new stuff comes out every single darn day. Thank you, thank you, and I will see you next time. Bye!